Hi guys, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. And this is a conversation with Colette Re something. Now, remember that these conversations with are meant to include you uh, in the comments below. There's things I want to talk about that I maybe know something about um, and I'll put the basics in but I want you to tell me what you know or what your ideas are and get the conversation going because that's the way that people really learn and um, I'm happy with the way this little playlist is going. Now today's um, conversation with Colette is uh, came from someone asking a question and, and I'm sorry I can't remember your name it's buried somewhere in thousands of comments but basically she was um, very mediumistic but also quite scared that a spirit could come and take over her body while she was um, you know open to mediumship and she wanted to know what I did maybe to stop that happening and she was especially interested in maybe protecting against a negative entity or a negative spirit taking over and I thought that was a very good question something I've not necessarily thought of in many years because I have my techniques or protections and everything kind of down to a T but I thought I would say first how um, I, if you watch me doing the mediumship, you'll see I'm always looking over uh, that way to a channel and that's where the spirits come through. Now that came out of a time way, way early in my career where um, I was reading for someone and their mum was kind of just beside her shoulder, her mum and spirit. And as I was talking and the woman was um, passing on, she came down to kind of here and I was like, oh, all right, OK. And then the next thing I knew, I just felt as though I, I was there, but I wasn't. And basically the spirit had come into my body to use it like trans uh, mediumship, which I don't do. I've never done and I don't think I'll ever do because, you know, my body, my um, my chariot for my soul um, is mine and it's not really for anyone else so immediately I was like no not doing this um, and it was quite the spot came out of it was quite sad I'll give you a wee bit of information what the spirit said to me but I was like nope if you don't get out I'm not passing on anything and you're not using me and whatever and she kind of come out and I was like oh right I got myself back as such and I said why did you do that um I'm not comfortable with that you shouldn't have done that and she said we don't see you we don't see you meaning the us in in, in the the human plane we don't see you as clearly it's like when I'm watching the spirits it's almost like through like, you know, if you were swimming underwater um, in a swimming pool and you can see people, but they're a wee bit, they're a wee bit all over the place and, and the, you know, they're, they're not, their form isn't as clear. Like if you were looking at them, um, you know, standing outside water or, you know, it's like looking through almost like a jelly film. Well, that's the way I see them anyway. Um... And she gave me back that that's how they can see us. And she wanted to see her daughter. And by coming into my body, she could see her daughter through my eyes, which was very clearly. Um, and I didn't realise that at the time, or I'd maybe, maybe have let her stay for a wee bit longer. But she got what she wanted. She got for that two or three seconds before I realised what happened. She got to see her daughter through clear eyes. Um, but when that happened, I was like, that can't happen again to me. It just can't. So I was like, white storm, you know, why almost did you allow that? And he was like, it's you, 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 you do it yourself. You know, you, you have the control of this. I remember thinking, do I? And he was like, yeah, it's like, you've not told them not to 
not to do this. You've never turned around and said, I will not do this and this is what I'll do. And if you want me to be your medium, I'll do this, this and this. And you need to do this, this and this. And I was like, right. He said, it's a bit of a contract, Colette. You know, and, and you're as important as they are. So after that, I thought long and hard on it. And I was like, okay, uh, what do I want? Well, if I'm sitting with a client, <clears throat> I want to be able to always look to the one position to see where the people will be and the spirits coming through. So I basically, um, I'd, I'd been in a, a an old um, building, um, my very first premises, where we did psychic development and there were very cold channels uh, in certain places of the building and that's where the spirits tended to want to come through anyway. So in my reading room and whatever, I, I found where that area would be and it was kind of to the, the, the right hand shoulder of the person uh, over there, um, which is sort of, you know, on my left hand side looking that way. So I said, right, OK, um, that's your channel. That's where you come through. And if you come through that channel and I can see you or even sense you or whatever and you stay in there, then I will do my best to get your message over. But come out of there or come further forward or try to get behind me and just know it's not happening. You're not getting in and I'm not allowing it. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't even give messages after that. Basically, you're done and dusted. I am not communicating with you if you come out of that channel. Uh, and I did it very forcefully and very spiritually. I did it while the channel was open. I did it with my guide there. I did it with my protections up. And um, never ever has that happened to me again that a spirit has actually tried to get into my body. So what I'm trying to make of that is uh, we have far more control than we know. And, you know, I sometimes think people, they're sort of... <laughs> They don't have the confidence in themselves. They're open to mediumship and think, oh my goodness, this, I'm this wee person and these are the spirits. And, well, they are, but they're, they've got their own, um, their own ways. They've got what they want to do. They've got their lives they're living in spirit. Um, they need to know what your parameters are. They need to know where your barriers are. And they need to know that if they step forward um, inside your barriers or parameters, that you are not going to tolerate that. And you will literally do the thing that they don't want, which is to ignore them and not, not pass on any messages. And that's just the way it has to be. So I would ask mediums out there to find an inner confidence, sit, meditate, and then let the universe or the spirit world know what you're willing to tolerate. Um, are you willing to tolerate um, a spirit coming into your body? If not, no. If you... Um, want them to come in a specific place where you know every time you look that that's there well ask them for that as well or even demand it of them you know um remember it's you're the medium they're wanting the message through and a lot of um i mean i've i had um a little niece i had who was my first husband's niece and she, she was a wee character but she passed very tragically but before she passed she was just a wee a wee, um, what we call a coyote spirit. She was a wee, a wee Loki character, but um, absolutely gorgeous and whatever. But I was always sort of saying, no, you can't do that, or no, you can't do that. And um, after she passed, she came through and she stood at the bottom of my bed and she said, um, I don't really want to talk to you. I want to talk to him, which was my first husband. And I was like... Okay, but he, he can't see you or hear you. And she said, I know. And I said, well, you have to talk to me then. And she was like, yeah, I know, but I don't really want to, but I'll do it because I can't get a message over unless it's through you. And with that easy truce, 
the messages were very strong and we got to kind of realise that, you know, we were both probably very strong-willed personalities. And um, she has gone to, you know, uh, on to look after some of some of my own children, etc., and be around so um, for her own family. So, you know, even her, she, at that stage, she recognised that, the, you know, um, well, I need you. And they do... So don't get any go about it or whatever, but know that you're important to them as they are to you and that you have a lot of control. Now, where the negative energies are concerned, I think it's just, I would say that it's about good practice, good um, ethics, good um, protection. And, um, you know, I would never start mediumship without having said prayers, without having my guides there, without um, being opened up and then closed down. I used to say to people, I don't really want, you know, if you go take your folks with you, I don't want them all around my house. Um, and I used to smudge after um, each session so that the spirits that weren't mine had to go. And, and so I did that every day and they got to know that come in, give your message, go. But if you're mine, you're allowed anywhere you want to go again, but not in my body, that sort of thing. So um, it's very similar with negative entities or negative spirits. You don't want them in in any way. So you have to be like an athlete that does preparation for the best sprint of his or her life every time you start to do mediumship or open up for healing or open up for clairvoyance make it special make it like the best job you can do and the best job you can do isn't doing it willy nilly oh I see a spinner oh, I'll pass that on to Nan and blah 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 no 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 you need to be in the most open safe place to get the messages correct. I mean, if I, if I didn't do, if I didn't work in the same room all the time now, you know, like I, I say work when I'm doing the mediumship videos, I'm always in the same room, I'm always in the, the same position. Um, but, you know, I would say my prayers, I would meditate, I would check on my guide, I would check on the channel, I would have some protective crystals, I would have smudged all these things are done uh, and I don't even think about them anymore they're just part and parcel and that's why when I used to uh, work professionally um, I mean it was I used to need a full hour to prepare for even just one reading because I would need a deep medium sip a, sorry a deep meditation I would need to cleanse I would need to sort the crystals out I would need to do all these things and you know even when I did TV and I was doing things like Mystic Challenge where um, you know you actually had to read for someone that was all covered up and, and get what you got I mean the TV stations were like right, right you're ready that we're bringing them in now and I'd be like no no I haven't had my meditation you can wait an hour and they were like wait a minute here you know we've got a schedule and I was saying well if you want me to do your show then I need an hour and if you don't like it then lump it because I'm not going in unprepared and I'm not going I'm going in to do it was more like I want to do my best particularly if I'm on telly I want to do my best so why would I rush things? Why would I veer off the the practices that I know get me results? So I've even had the courage to stand up to TV producers and say, I mean, I did nine shows. Yeah, nine shows, one seven of them. So that should tell you, you know, like, I think if I hadn't stood my ground, um, I wouldn't have won seven out of nine um, shows. Uh, but I did, and you know, after the second or third time saying to the runners and the producers, I need my, I need my hour, go away, um, they did it automatically and it wasn't an issue. So it's about finding confidence, but where negative entities are concerned, this is a conversation with it will go on forever, but you know, I do love getting what you 
think back in the comments below and then they all talk into one another that's that makes this channel so beautiful for me so if you keep to your um your disciplined approach with protection with meditation with any prayers or mantras that you say then it's very unlikely that a negative entity would get in um also with little beams of light um mediums and empaths etc and a lot of negative entities won't even see that light if you keep yourself very very um at that vibration they're on this lower vibration we're on the higher one it takes a lot for them to get up and actually as see you see your light and then try and come in it can happen but it's more than more um unlikely if you keep your vibration and your light very very high and clean um and that means looking after yourself too it means drinking a lot of water it means getting fresh air it means if you've any health issues trying to take them seriously so that they don't like an energy wouldn't sort of leech onto that in some way but for a medium if you have a way of um protecting yourself and working and then walking your talk you know your vibration each day should be what you aspire to each day um some people say that mental health issues can bring the vibration down I know a lot of mediums that are fantastic and are very, 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 very um, amazing people and they have um, the brightest lights I've ever seen, but yet a lot of them have anxiety, some have things like OCD, some have depression. Um, you know, I would always urge these people to have kind of... Well, I would urge them to have protections up and to smudge and everything, but I don't. I think if you're at this vibration and then you know you have maybe a mental health issue or whatever, it might bring it down a little bit on a daily basis. But I don't see it bringing it that low that every demon or entity goes, "Oh, there." Um, I, d I don't get that, I must admit, and as I say, when you read, I don't read up on many things, I must admit, I'm I'm getting old and that I know, I know what I know, and I enjoy reading, but I kind of know what I know and I know what works for me, and to me it's better passing that on than whatever, but as I say, a lot of people say, oh, mental health issues, that brings your vibration down, or, you know, bad thoughts, or anger, or being in the situation maybe that we're in, in the world energies. Um, if you are working at a high vibration anyway, I don't think these things would take your vibration down enough for um, it to merit it. Now, I have known someone that had um, a, a mental health issue, and did uh, attract a demon but they kind of wanted it i know that sounds crazy but they kind of wanted to feel special and they in a way having this attachment people were all over them trying to get the demon out trying to whatever and, and i i worked with them too for a while and after a while i realized that they they didn't feel so special without the energy attached to them and they invited once we got rid of it they invited it straight back in so that, that's you know if you're not the type of person that wants a, a negative entity just for the sheer um, bedevilment of it then i don't really see it's going to happen and yes certainly this chap had a mental health issue but I believe the mental health issue on its own wouldn't have um, brought an attachment to him. I think it's part of his personality that that needed um, to feel very special, and that's how he did it. Wouldn't advise it for anyone, but there you go. Um, we live and learn. So, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? My thoughts are that if you are a, a 
a medium, you've got mediumistic talent, you've got the gift C and you're working with it to the highest level to with ethics, with the knowledge that you could be helping people, with a confidence in yourself um, to say to them, no, nah, not on, go away, you can come back tomorrow, blah, 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 things like that. Uh, I, I feel that you'll not necessarily attract a negative in entity or energy or a negative spirit. They are there. Um, if, in the worst case scenario, you, you did, try and find a, a shamanic practitioner that could help you with that. Um, but it's not, not as common as people would think. It's really not, you know. Um, if, we, if we were to do one... Um, I hate the word exorcism, but if we were to do one, lead in one spirit to the light a year or every second year, that that's the level that it hits us at. It's not a big, big issue. There are many millions of um, mediumship uh, sessions going on that would never, ever attract a negative energy. So what do you think of that? If you have um, mediumship ability... How do you feel that you keep safe? Do you feel you need to keep safe? Um, do you have the confidence in your ability uh, to say no when it doesn't suit you? Um, do you shut down? I mean, I always, when I was out and about more, if I was going to a party, I would shut down like that, leave it open the teeniest wee bit. And people would say, oh, you're that, you're that medium, you're that spooky woman. Uh, can you get my gran? can you get my papa blah 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 and I'd be like no I'm at a party and I'm having a drink so why would I be open to pass on messages in that environment that's not ethical that's downright dangerous um so yeah um find the confidence so if if any of you have thoughts on this please start the conversation with me um my internet's playing up a lot at the moment. Um, I think it's because so many people are on during the day now working from home um, and rarely we don't have great bandwidth or something like that. Um, but I will try and uh, tune in when. At night, it seems to be much better at night. And I will answer you and I will be intrigued by what you've got to say. So um, let me know. Comment below. If you do things, if you work with my technique um, and what you think about it in general and thanks to the lady that asked the question because I think it's one that maybe needed us that I wouldn't even have thought of doing without someone saying it because the way I work with my um, gift is simply these um, parameters have been in place for, let's see, 30 over 30, 35 years now, so, okay, so many blessings, let's get chatting, let's have a conversation, bye now.